Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I am pumped to give you three biotech stocks which are huge buys and could lead to substantial increases for the long-term investor. Hey guys, investing in biotech stocks can offer substantial long-term gains, but it requires patience and a tolerance for risk. Biotech companies often work on groundbreaking technology that could lead to future game-changing treatments and blockbuster revenue. However, the development process can take years and not all candidates succeed. Still, choosing quality companies with strong pipelines can lead to significant returns over time. With just $200, you can invest in three biotech companies poised for long-term success. Let me give you a breakdown of these absolutely no-brainer biotech buys. Let's jump into it. Number one today is Viking Therapeutics. They have the ticker VKTX. And this is the investment thesis for Viking. Viking Therapeutics is developing a weight loss drug tapping into one of today's fastest growing sectors. According to Goldman Sachs research, the weight loss drug market could reach $100 billion by the end of this decade. And there's room for competition because there's big players like Eli Lilly, Novo Nordisk that are dominating, but demand exceeds supply, leaving room for additional competitors like Viking. Here are their key products. Viking has reported positive trial results for its injectable weight loss drug candidate showing efficacy compared to Lilly's, Mongero, Zepound, which regulate blood sugar levels and appetite. They've also got an oral form. Viking's advancing an oral version of the drug, which plans to move into phase two trials. Viking stock is known, guys, for surging on good news, having jumped 120% after positive trial results and climbed more than 190% year to date. So if trials continue to deliver strong results, Viking Therapeutics could see further big gains ahead. Now guys, stay tuned because at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you what I'm personally doing with my money, uh, but let's look at number two, which is Moderna. That's the ticker MRNA. This is our investment thesis for Moderna. Uh, Moderna was a leader in the coronavirus vaccine market, still is, but they've experienced a revenue decline as the demand for COVID vaccines shrinks. Its revenue forecast has dropped to 3 billion to 3.5 billion from an earlier $4 billion. Here's the key consideration, guys, though. Despite the market's contraction, the coronavirus vaccine could still bring a billion dollar annual revenue in the future. Gotta keep that in mind. Here's their key products, and this is huge. Moderna's advancing a combined flu and coronavirus vaccine, which recently showed positive results in a phase three trial. Such a vaccine, guys, could attract a large recurring audience. And they are really focused on a personalized cancer, or a personalized cancer vaccine. Moderna's broad pipeline, guys, includes promising late stage programs like a personalized cancer vaccine, signaling potential for, uh, for future growth. So Moderna has, and, and this is the thing, guys, when we look at their financial strategy, it's all about cost management. Moderna has lowered operating costs to align better with its current revenue opportunities. And though the stock is down now, patient investors could benefit from buying shares on the dip and holding for long-term gains. Okay, so I gave you one stock, Viking, which is like taking off. I gave you another one, Moderna, which has really kind of uh, dipped down, giving a buy opportunity at a, at a lower price. And then finally, my third stock that I'm bringing to you today is CRISPR Therapeutics. The ticker is CRSP. CRISPR Therapeutics has made significant progress, guys, with its gene editing therapy. Uh, it's Casgevy. Casgevy is designed to treat blood disorders like sickle cell disease, beta thalassemia. Now, they've had some slow revenue growth. Uh, Casgevy has reached approval, but its lengthy treatment process means it'll take time before substantial revenue is realized, which may explain recent investor hesitation. 
Here's their key products. CRISPR is developing therapies for cancer, autoimmune diseases, and diabetes using its gene editing technology to correct faulty genes, potentially resulting in functional cures. And I just want to pause and say, isn't that like absolutely crazy that that's where we're at when it comes to biotech, when it comes to the world that we live in today, that we can create vaccines essentially that target and fix faulty genes. Absolutely insane. Uh, they're, they're really strong financially. They've got $2 billion in cash and that strong cash position ensures that it has the resources to see its pipeline through development. So despite recent stock underperformance, CRISPR Therapeutics is a compelling buy as its innovative treatments could lead to major breakthroughs, and significant revenue growth over the long term. But anyway, guys, each of these biotech companies offers unique opportunities for investors willing to navigate the volatility and the risk of the biotech sector. With strong pipelines, positive trial results, growth potential, in lucrative markets, Viking Therapeutics, Moderna, CRISPR Therapeutics are no-brainer buys that could pay off significantly over time. Now guys, the all three of these stocks, fantastic stocks. I have to say personally, I have not invested yet in any of these three stocks. Guys, there's so many good stocks out there. I can't invest in everything. I do buy some biotech stocks. If you want to know what stocks that I am putting my money into, subscribe to the channel, guys, because every single week I'm posting a specific video on why I just bought a stock. Usually I post these Monday morning, very beginning of the week, and let y'all know where I'm putting my money. Now, just because I'm not putting my money in these specific stocks doesn't mean that I don't think it's a buy. So when I'm making these videos, I like to present the stocks that I've researched and which ones, in my opinion, are buys and which ones maybe you should stay away from. All three of these stocks, fantastic buys uh, today. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Peace.